Hello, people. It is Cult of the Lamb yet again. I'm very, very excited about this one. So, they gave me a preview build. And, uh... And, yeah. Uh, the embargo is up on the 4th of August. So you'll probably be seeing this then. I'm playing this July 23rd. So my references are gonna be completely outdated. All of my memes will be old. But that's okay. Um, there's two of four dungeons apparently available in this version. Um, I did play the demo not too long ago, and I enjoyed it. I guess we can take a look at this again. But, uh, yeah, I did actually see this stuff in the demo. Most of it, I think. Oh yeah. But yeah, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't wait for the full version. And considering the save data from this transfer is over, it's, it's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm just very, like, grateful that I get to play this early, because this has been one of my most anticipated indie games. I hope it delivers, but I kind of feel like it will, based on the demo. So I'm not gonna read this out loud, because I, I think I did already. But, you know, they want to sacrifice the lamb. It's fine. Uh, well, we're a heretic. Like them graphics. Those diagonal lines. I don't know if there's... There's probably a name for it, but I, I really like that style. I'll start a cult in your name, again. I mean, I already did in the demo. Hang on, let me lower this a little bit. But uh, I'll do it again. Yep. See me again. Basically, um, you, the lamb, start a cult in this dude's name, and then, uh, you know, as you go along your adventures, you, you, you gather followers. But yeah, consider this, um, me, and I already enjoyed the demo, right? So I know I'll enjoy this. But if you want to see if this is a game that you would enjoy, well... That's probably what this is for. But yeah, the combat system is solid. I, I related it a little bit to Hades. It's like Hades and Isaac. You can see the uh, progression. I am Ratau. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but these those days are lost to the winds. Sent to guide you, um, to lead you to safety. You get to be friends with a rat in this game. Oh, right, wrong button. Um, coin. So we got one coin. So even though I played this probably like two months... Was it two months ago? Oh. What's going on here? Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Game crashed. It said in the press release, there will be bugs, please be kind. No! Game is bad! I can't- 
keep wanting to read that as massive boner. Uh, but that is very unfortunate and very disappointing. And all I did was press the select button. I'll probably just pause this video and get to the same spot. But let's see if it maybe auto-saved. Nope, new save. Alright, gonna pause. Lovely. Here it is, same spot where the game froze. Seems okay now. Yeah, that was weird, because I pressed start first. Maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. Like, I, I pressed select and then start. I, uh, oh man. I couldn't really skip very much of that. I had to just go through the dialogue very quickly. So this is officially the third time I've done this tutorial sequence. But yes, I mentioned this during the demo. If you didn't watch that, it was during like a Next Fest demo showcase. It was a number of games all, you know, put together, and this is the one I was most interested in. I, I held, um, I think I had this like first in the video. But um, as I said then, the gameplay is good. It's got a nice like chunk to the combat. <laughs> We have to rescue them so that they can join our cult. You are ours now. Welcome to the cult, friend. Taco Tuesdays, free anal, and lots of beverages. Oh, and there's a drum circle at the end of the night. Every night. We just sing Stairway to Heaven backwards. Here's to my sweet Satan. The one whose little tool shed made me sad. Whose power is Satan. That's really what people thought he was saying backwards in that song. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself to great, uh, great distances. Okay, we're gonna go to a temple where we can start the cult and hopefully save the game. But yeah, there's um stuff missing in this preview version. Two dungeons. Um, a number of different types of followers. I'm gonna try medium and see how that works for me. Because, um, that's developer recommended. Which is always a nice thing to read. I don't need- you know, the older I get, the less I feel like I need to prove myself with harder difficulty. But if this feels too easy and I'm not enjoying the game as much, then I'll definitely, you know, try some diff different stuff. This hallowed ground which once was mine, is now yours. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings. Oh, there's a pre-order Cthulhu thing that I, I got like, um... They basically, the preview code was also the, uh, special stuff. Yo, I can get a turtle. Yeah, so the, the special stuff that you, you know, it's like part of the collector's edition or whatever. I'm gonna, uh, I want a turtle follower. Green turtle, please, thank you. Name. Turtmull. Oh. 
Welcome. I guess you're part of the Turtle Club now. The cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Love the effects. Probably said this during the demo, but I really enjoy this game's um, particle effects and stuff. Sometimes a game looks like... I, I know not everyone is into the way this game looks, weirdly enough. I've seen a couple people reject the game. But sometimes you play a game that just looks so cool or looks so nice that you just want to play more of it. Graphics aren't everything. They're one of the... I mean, they're important, but for me it's still gameplay first. But I will complain about graphics if my computer <laughs> is slowing down for some reason. I'm like, wait, why is this happening? And I'll complain about the Nintendo Switch because the hardware is sadly outdated and because I wish some of the games on that were just better looking. And Steam decks are kind of hard to get at the moment. So we'll build that here. My turtle friend will help. Now I can provide food. Followers will begin to starve if it gets too low. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass their foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found while crusading. Oh, hi, Breath of the Wild. Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold. So I have to crusade through the lands of old faith. It's your task to slay them. Find gold and willing, willing recruits and convert them by force. There actually was one issue I had with this game, I think, during the demo. I don't know if it's... It, it is still kind of here. It's like micro stutters. Yeah, it's still happening. It's not bad. Like, it's, it's just... Every now and then... I see it. Okay, so I have dark wood, or what's this one? I need seven followers for Enerna. So your followers pray, and then the doors open. I also got sunburned today, I think. Again, old as fuck reference, but this week has been hot as fuck. Oh, Leshy. Right, so I found out Leshy is not a reference to... Not necessarily a reference to inscription, but is uh, actually... Somehow I didn't know this, it's like... Some mythological figure in some culture... I don't remember, Jeff Goldblum. Be. You were put to the blade, lamb, as all your kind were. And yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown is power. Could it be? I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb.
Oh. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. The card showed me once, many lifetimes ago. I have always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this was the first. Take these. We'll draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. Weapon damage increase. I'll take that. Even though my hearts are a little low at the moment. Here's your cards that you could draw. That was just enough damage to kill things in one hit. It's worth destroying the environment. Uh, well, probably not in real life. Flower necklace. Follower will generate devotion faster. Oh, I guess once you choose, that's just you're locked into it. That might be the case. I'm not sure yet. This appears to be a foraging location. I hope this gets faster at some point. Because while it's nice, you know, to actually see your character foraging, if this is just a room you get to, to, you know, get resources for later, this is not going to be fun to do for people. Myself included, I'm very impatient. Reveal the map or attack rate is increased. I guess the map would have helped. I would have then known which way was optimal. Versus suboptimal. Oh, a new card. Deals poison damage to enemies struck. Good find from a random treasure chest. I've been playing Isaac again. Well, as of the time of this recording, I haven't played in like a week, but getting back into Isaac kind of made me excited for this. You've come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause, almighty leader! By the blood of the Great Ones, destroy the Red Crown. You're mine now. Convert me to your cult. I'll follow your teachings faithfully. Berry bush. Yeah, we want berry bush seeds. Some coinage, too. I guess you gotta do four runs, and f like four mini bosses per, that's what I'm getting from this. Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I will be watching your every move. Snappy game, very fast like that. 
Aside from foraging berries, but other than that, very fast. I am relieved to see you made it safely. And you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Y you can join exactly as you are. Cynical ignores dissenters when they preach. <laughs> dissenters? Oh. Followers will, will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. style in this game. Praise be. Here's your new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine, and then collect the devotion your followers generate to, sh to unlock divine inspiration. Where'd you come from? You can be a little Cthulhu. Thulu. Work and devotion generation speed reduced by 10%, but easier to level up. Worship. Okay. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshiping until it's emptied. Once you have enough divine inspiration, you can unlock new buildings for your cult. Poop. Unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If they're sick, assign them to bed rest or they could die. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illness. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Got one. Establish a temple to preach sermons and perform rituals. We'll get that first. That's what we have to get first. And then that unlocks other things. Okay. I need more wood and stone. Rock and stone. I like the light sim aspect so far. We'll, we'll see how that goes, but it's not just Isaac. Okay, I can build a temple. Um, the temple. I wasn't expecting this kind of stuff from this game, even though it is Cult of the Lamb. Weirdly, in my mind, I thought it was just going to be like Isaac before it came out. But this is nice. This distinguishes it. We'll see how, how it goes by the end of the game, or by even an hour into the game, or two. But so far, so good. From there, you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You're responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will dissent and eventually leave. Show them that you are a great leader.
Gosh. All right, followers. <laughs> Welcome. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty level will generate more devotion. Therefore, more followers you have, the more loyal you are, the quicker you gain new abilities. Permanently gain half a heart. You were amazing to behold, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your cult, you will need to declare doctrine so they may obey you. Uh, return to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. <laughs> That's funny. Do these daffy fucks need more food? percent chance of a follower pooping instantly. I think they're probably good on food for a while. Yeah, you don't really get access to this much in the demo. Yeah, we got low damage, but very fast. I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress. And wishes to grant you a crown ability. Well, what happens in the demo is you- I think you get some of this stuff earlier. So, like, it, it allows you to play a little bit more unfettered for a while. Enemies you slay will now drop fervor. Collect this to replenish your curses. Yeah, because I remember having, like, specials like this. Choice. Lucky choice. Um, overall weapon damage increased. Let's do attack rate. Fast knife is even faster now. this house? Oh, it's a shop. Yeah, there's there's definitely stuttering. I can see it. I don't know if that's like the game or the camera, but it, it um, I've seen it in a couple different ways. This is the nightmare puppeteer noise. Commandment Stone Fragment. I'll save my money. But I, I understand now, so that, that's a reward area you get to choose. Oh, you can actually even steal Devotion. Lumber, and there was something weird that popped out of that, too. Not sure what that was, but it's okay. It's 
So you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and smell your fear. The red crown rises again, but what an unworthy bearer it has. You carry the weight of ageless centuries upon dim such diminutive shoulders. Weapon is not without the hands that wield. To fell enemies, to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron forged in everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promised liberator. Oh, this is an upgrade to my magic. I thought it replaced my knife with a shoot. Oh well. It's all an upgrade, so I'm okay with that. Eons ago, these lands were rife with gods in their adherents. What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget, and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhaps they left, mayhaps they slept, mayhaps they... Mayhap they devoured, or were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. To our land of many gods once hundreds, now... Amendment stones. It can be new doctrines for your cult. When hit down to half a heart, all enemies will be dealt two damage. Divine Inspiration Unlocked. So, yeah. You just unlock a million things. Check something out here. We can also lower the vibration intensity a little bit. Um, turn V-Sync off. I'll try unlimited frame rates and just see if we still get the stutters. Yep, saw it. Yep, even worse. Okay. V-Sync off, but this time 60 FPS frame rate. Now I can't tell. I need a heart. Deals poison damage. I'm gonna get poison damage just because that might help with this boss, whatever it will be. Oh, I see the stars hanging above, too. That's how you know. That is how you know.
Uh oh. Fear not, for you are my chosen vessel, and death cannot halt you. I shall not allow it, for I still have need of you. Take what you have gathered, build and strengthen the cult. This is how power is gained. Continue on undaunted. Each time you are brought down, you rise again stronger. Well, that knife just kind of sucked for that. Well, let's see. Where'd this go? Already built. I got DLC decorations. Weird though, where did where did the thing go? Uh. Ah. That's nice. But where did it go? <laughs> it's gone. If I do a new commandment or something, I'm not sure. Doctrine. Upgrade and expand the red crown. Use a commandment stone to declare a new doctrine for your cult. Select from category and make a choice that will unlock either a new ritual trait or follower interaction. Dance around the flame to increase the cult's faith. sermons, performing rituals, and providing for the needs of your followers will keep faith high. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons. Oh. Oh, we gotta destroy their skeletons now. Is this a fucking glitch?
I, I think it's a glitch. Don't I have another follower around here somewhere? Confused. Job's done. Faith is okay, but it'd be a little bit better. Uh, problem is, the shrine is gone. I don't know what to do with that. Oh well. I wonder if it's like that if I turn the game off and then turn it back on. If not, then, yeah, I, I don't know, then that, that's not good. I might have to wait till the, uh, maybe uh, I'm missing something. There's a possibility I'm missing a game mechanic or something. But if not, then yeah, I'm going to have to um, wait until it's fixed. Maybe wait for version 1.0 or, or not, or early access or whatever. Tentacles? Tentacoles? Wow. That looks cool. And we got some bones. My bones are aching, Annie! I like how that's just become a thing. Just this random throwaway line from Phantom Menace has become a bit of a meme. <laughs> Not much of one, but fucking Jay referenced it. But I guess it was Mike that introduced it to him, so... It's like, yeah, you don't remember my bones is aching, Annie? Famous prequel line. You actually kind of have to kill the squirrel. Not have to, but you get food if you kill them. It's not nice, but it, it helps. Follower will harvest bonus resources. Follower gift. Shop. There's the food. Get a new follower. Why not? The worm. It is hungry. It feeds. It partakes of our flesh. But that is the price for safety. For that, we will gladly give all we have. A worm? Welcome, friend. It's a fun gameplay loop. When it's not glitched. 
if it even is. If is if is a very important word here. I need the meat. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, damage is everything on screen when hit, and attack rate. Uh, attack rate for an axe, I think, is probably what I want. I like the sword better, but the axe does hit really hard. It's kind of satisfying to be able to one-shot enemies when you do. And it has more range, too. Well, now I don't have to think about that, because I'm going to have another axe! An even more powerful axe. Increase overall weapon damage or deal poison. I do like the poison. Yeah, that enemy's going down this time. Way more powerful this time. Ah! Gold nuggets, small gifts. Maybe I should have chosen the gold nuggets, I don't know. Oh well. Two bosses down. Need two more to open that door. Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your followers, for they are to use to your advantage. Their faith is a resource, spend it as you would gold. You can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you, let it give you license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I got mind read. Interact with followers to read their thoughts to see if they're hungry, tired, sick, or whatever. Religion statement. Back now. B 
grow a seed into a crop. No, no, the cow. Gain 10 faith when falling ill. On recruiting this follower, instantly gains 10 faith. Yes, Turk. Great leader, the cult is growing by the day. It is time you gave it a name. Well. Cult of the Vine. There's a nice ring to it. I'll just keep you as is. You're a special one. Lose minus five faith when another follower dies. 15% easier to level up. Oh, stinky. Divine inspiration unlocked. Sleeping bags. A place for a follower to sleep. I mean, hey, it's something. Body pit. Now they can be happy. Oh. Er, happy er. Uh oh, there's a stinky here. God, how many times am I going to say that playing this game now? Homeless, need some place to sleep, defecated outside, build an outhouse so I can poop in peace. New cult building, new friend, good chat. It's like RimWorld. Uh, you, but you need some place to sleep. So we need more sleeping bags then. How many people do I have in this cult? Five? I like minimalist town building stuff like this. It's nice. And, and again, reading their minds, it's instantly RimWorld. It's not quite the same thing by a long shot, but it's, it's, it's neat. some croppage. You can just water whatever you want, whenever you want. I need better plants, though. But yeah, you don't have to build a watering can or anything like that.
Oh, it's night time now. Oh shit, there's spiders. Spiders George. Yes. When times are tough, we can cook grass meals. Followers won't like it, but it beats starving. I need grass, though. I don't have grass. I wasted it all. And I can't harvest any, so I wonder if I can get that. Uh oh. No grass until I go out adventuring, I guess. Wake up, everyone. Wake up. It's sermon time. God, this must suck. To have to wake up in the middle of the night? To hear some garbage? Bane weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies when attacking. They will appear on your crusades. Or... Three new curses will appear on your crusades. Bane weapons. to do a couple more sermons. Um, fleeces and crowns. Just ways to change the gameplay up a bit. And uh, the bonfire ritual. Wake up and dance, my children. <laughs> it's the cult of Rem Lazar. It's a bad Indoctrinating followers is good and well and good, but there is so much more you can take from them. Give gifts, complete quests, and performing blessings for them will increase their loyalty to you. Once they're totally loyal, they will give you everything they own. Watch as I show you. You, follower, come back here. Increase their loyalty. They will reward you devotion, commandment, stone fragments. They will generate additional devotion when in a sermon or worshipping. To increase their loyalty, you give them a blessing once a day when you interact with them. And you can give them gifts and complete quests. Visit me at my home, I will show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. Cool. Oh, you actually piss off your followers if you wake them up. You make them unhappy. Not very many meals tonight, sorry lads. Blessing, my child. <laughs> Can I give the turtle a blessing as well? I sure hope at some point you unlock a blessing button. Just bless everyone across the board.
Yeah, there's there's no way. Uh, maybe these berries will have some grass. No. All right, let's hope I find some fucking grass soon. You've discovered my humble cottage. Be careful you don't make the same mistakes I did or you'll end up in a place just like this. Perhaps a game of knuckle bones? You don't know it? Simple. Set up, step up to the table, I'll show you. Gift to raise the loyalty of a follower. Your score is calculated by adding all your dice together. Destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. Dice of the same number are placed in the row. Multiply their value. Oh god, it's like Final Fantasy VIII and IX. Except instead of cards... It's dice. Mental. Ooh. I think this row is, is good. This row is gonna suck. So I'm gonna lose this row, but I think if you get... Oh yeah. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that's cool. I like that. The one below, you're a natural. Here, you've earned yourself a prize. New card unlocked. Gain an extra heart. Now you've had a taste of the game. Care to wager some coin? That is literally the fucking nightmare puppeteer menu sound. Which semi ruins the sound for me. some rotten luck. No duplicates at all. A duplicate. One. Nice. Nice. Fucking good victory. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Seems fortune is not on my side, no matter you played well.
wouldn't happen to have any grass here, right, man? It's some fucking grass, dude. I must thank you for relieving me of my duties. You've granted me what I desire most. Peace. Now that I've taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days playing knuckle bones. I have friends on their way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch, to be sure. I'm retired and free to play. I like that rat. That's a good, good rat friend. Okay, I'm gonna do, like, probably... See how long this run lasts, but I'm getting kind of tired playing this somewhat late on July 23rd. Oh, there's the Bane thing. But again, it is a dagger, so the range is exceedingly short. Yeah, but I need I need a bunch of grass to make that cow some food. Some slop. Tubby custard slop. Increased chance to spawn better chests. Sure. It's not very tangible at the moment, but... Could be. Like that. Okay, so that tarot card is only one soul heart. seem like anything special. So it's true the red crown sits upon the brow of another. But how? We did everything we could. Calamar like calamari? It matters not. Heck it! We need not bother Shimura with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. Sister. Fucked, mate. Cool. Um, I still have time to do that quest if I'm quick. Blazing beacon. Oh. All right, cool. We need food. I guess you could just... Well, that makes life a lot easier. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. You can just chop up the things. All right, complaint negated. for a card, so that way, um... Uh, Gosh, no. more likely to kill the boss. Consume... Curses consume less. Sure. Come on. What, that? what is that icon? Increase... Oh! Lose red heart to gain tarot card. Overall weapon damage increased by 
Fine by me. Definitely gonna need a better weapon, though. Well, I guess I got weapon damage. That's nice. Um... 20% chance of gaining a soul heart when killing an enemy. Or 10% critical. I'm going for the critical hit. For some reason. Even though that was a better version of a card. Probably would have been a good choice. Just try to do this kind of quick. I don't need to do it that quick, though. Follower will have increased movement speed. So there's the um, Wind Waker ask hit enemy time stops for a second moment thing. which in a group of a lot of enemies can be a little confusing. Well, not confusing, but it just looks like your frame rates are stuttering. Do I get the axe or a flaming shot Two. Uh, I'm gonna get the axe for more damage. Big damage. Yeah, good card. I need, um... Damages everything on screen when hit. Why not? I have a, so a black heart right now. But yeah, this weapon is one-shotting enemies. It's amazing. With all the tarot cards. Tarot. Tarot. Ta taro? Taro cards, bruh. Barbados. Too powerful, sorry. All right, um, berry bush seeds, gold nugget. I'll get the gold nuggets. New commandment. see me here in chains, reduced to nothing. It has not always been thus. 
I was bound to this wretched place by the bishops of the old faith. They betrayed me and left me to rot. Each of the four chains that bind me are guarded by one of the bishops. Destroy the bishop, and I will break the chain. Break all four, and I will be freed. Can't wait for you to be the final boss. I gave you life a new vessel, and now you must repay the debt. You know what must be done. To defeat the bishops, you will need to become stronger. Sacrifice a follower to absorb more power. This will aid you in your quest to free me. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Freaking sacrifice. That's gonna get real scummy. It's gonna be hard to sacrifice some of my friends. And this is exactly why you don't make friends with your cult. upset about something? Bad chat. Boring. Must avoid them in the future. You are blessed. And you are as well. to the cult, friend. There is nothing to eat. I will help. But first, receive this blessing. Hearty meat broth. Yes. Complete quest. Wow, you did it. Truly, you are without flaw. I am grateful. Um, I, I'm going to also bless you. Oh, you've been blessed. Do you want a gift? You've leveled. Congratulations. Nona level two. Nona prays more good now. Well done, my cult. Definitely not sex, by the way. Perhaps would you like another gift? A big gift. You're, you're my favorite turtle. farming station.
music. Okay, I see what's happening here. I'm gonna have to remove one of these. I think I can edit buildings. Just move it. Okay, that's good. Actually, that's also not ideal, so we're gonna edit again. go. Much better. I need, um, okay, so seed silo. Uh, some, some fucking shit. Rumor has it that Valifar is a spy sent by an enemy cult to undermine your great power. You should go speak with them and see what they have to say for themselves. Oh. Alright. Hello, leader. What a beautiful day in paradise. And might I say, you're looking extra glorious today. I don't believe it. Well, obviously they're hiding something. You must believe me, leader. Yeah, the more they poop, the more disease. I see, like, there's a disease meter. <laughs> Damn, that's gonna take a while. It'll be one moment. Be right back. Alright. Back for a little bit longer, even though for you it was just two seconds. Sermon time, bitches. <laughs> Don't know why I said it like that. So I got increased starting level of weapons in a, in a new crusade, what? Um... Reassure them that death is not the end. Have them... Proffer both labor and love. Proffer? Them the true meaning of obedience, preach the value of earthly goods, instruct them on the liturgies surrounding their daily bread. All cult members will gain the belief and sacrifice trait. Twenty faith when another cult member sacrifices. All cult members will gain the belief in afterlife. Only lose minus five faith when a follower dies instead of negative twenty. Seems cool to me.
I guess you can change the doctrines too. Uh. I don't want to sacrifice a follower. I mean, maybe... Maybe the bonfire ritual. But faith is good right now. Well, I'm gonna do one more run, I've decided. Five rocks for this, but <clears throat> again, the rocks are not going to happen anytime soon. Most of these rocks are just giant, like stone mountain. Mountains. There are not enough beds. Sorry, followers. The Lord hath not grant us bed. Help me chop this tree, friend. this. If you were a truly great leader, wouldn't this place look nicer? We've already got some decorations. Need more decorations? Yay, the Lord said upon me, go fast, Sonic, for only then can you achieve the great chili dog in the sky. Shelter. Upgrade to a more stable shelter, which will collapse less often. Offering statue. You can leave offerings in your honor. Prison. Lumber yard. Um, stone mine. We'll probably need that. Because we're going to run out of stone and wood. So may as well just start with that. Ten stone for that, so that's that's going to be a little while. Um, okay, but that that person wants decorations. Do that. Get a couple decorations. Okay, 
does the music just stop like that? Oh, I hear low drums. Maybe that's why. But yeah, I like this. It was just an... <coughs> um... A thousand Marvel things were just announced. 45 TV shows, 8 movies. More than that, probably. You know what the funny thing is? It's probably actually 8 movies or more. It might even be more, and that was my exaggeration number. And yea, the Lord said unto he, level up, my child. Can do another sermon. It is technically the next day. Down. Oh, it's going to take me a little while to do that. Never mind. Yeah, sorry, all we have is grass slop at the moment. This place is gross. If we don't clean this up, someone will get sick. Clean poop and vomit. Oh, they're vomiting because they're eating grass. They even get, like... You can see the little notifications. It, it is rim-like. Which makes me like this even more. See how happy they are. What a weird combination of things this game is. And and it w works. Like, it, it really comes together for me, at least. I'm not sure how it lasts in the long term, but so far I'm definitely enjoying it. Like the um, going out and adventuring was what I was most looking forward to, but now I kind of want to go on adventure so I can upgrade my cult. But then I want to upgrade my cult so I can go out and adventure. So it's it's cool. Finally, let us end this. I'll be awaiting you in my temple. Come, witness true power. Why not? Let's do it. Game is very addictive. Bane Axe 4. Or Ikor. Throne 4. Well, we've upgraded that much. Is that not gonna break the game?
Okay, what do we have here? Curses consume 50% less fervor. That's too good to pass up. The synergies aren't, you know, Isaac level. In fact, I don't even really see synergies right now, but... Follower will never sleep. Oh, that sounds like torture. But, you know, magic. I'm gonna go for the question mark. Choose half blue heart. Choose blue heart. Gee, I wonder. Um, new follower, or a thing here. Uh, new follower. I mean, new followers also mean more upkeep, which is, I guess, why sacrifice is probably a viable option, we'll say. It kind of is worth doing this stuff. Like, I actually need more rocks. There's wood there, there's food there. I'm gonna go for the food. Oh, new food. No, that's just berry bush. Forms. Well, I guess God is real. God is real. Four twenty sixty nine. There's also going to be Twitch integration for this when the game launches. Apparently. Your persistence is beginning to annoy me, little lamb. You may think yourself clever, you may think yourself righteous in the service to him, but you should not be so trusting of the chained one. Oh well, it's too late for talk. One such as you deserves no absolution. This will not end well for you. Yeah, so there will be Twitch drops and you can apparently do some stuff, I don't know, but... I'll do that. My plan is to... Play this now, obviously. Play it again and check out the other dungeon before the game launches. These videos drop. Game comes out like a week after the, the videos drop, because that's the embargo is up like a week before the game comes out. They really gave me like a a good three weeks. Well, like two and a half weeks early. This this thing. So I'm very pleased about that. That's like shit. I was looking so forward to this. And I saw the email of Cult of the Lamb. And I was like, yes. Don't mind if I do. When attacked, 20% chance of negating damage. We don't want that one. Definitely gonna want that one.
This axe is really good, but note I haven't seen any upgrades for it. What? Hey kiddo, keep your eyes off my fishies. There ain't enough for both of us. The best fishing can be found at Pilgrim's Passage. Where's that you say? Let me show you. Oh. Cool. See? Okay. Is there gonna be a fishing mini game too? time. I hope I have enough health for this. I grow tired of you, little lamb. Time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade. Oh, that looks so good. That looks really good. I should have got the, um... Extra heart on enemy kill. Because I didn't realize there was going to be ads on this fight. One more hit. Yeah, Leshy, fuck you! Still, that was a little close. Close-ish. I'm not raising the difficulty right now. Not right now, Walter. Red Crown can feast upon this heart to unlock new crown abilities. I think that looks great. This game has nice visuals. New animal form the followers, your followers can take. Trophy for killing Leshy. She fell before you like a grain of sand before a tidal wave. Yep. Thank you. That was not a long speech. I am not Manadnak.
followers are inspired by your victory. Oh. <laughs> Send your followers on a holy quest to gather resources. That is, if they make it back alive. Oh. Oh. Statue. Okay, we know about that. Tabernacle. Prison. Uh... Scarecrow. Prevents birds from stealing the seeds from the farm plots. Demonic summoning circle. Possess a follower with the spirit of a demon so they can join you on your next crusade. What the fuck? Need lumber and rock to build. Stay regular. Ten farms. New level. one up. Burnt food. Clean away this unsightly mess. Where's the deer fella? Isn't, isn't the deer supposed to be tending the farm? Yes, can I help you? This mess makes me sick. If you don't allow me to rest, surely I will die. Trash from the sea, no good, make you sick. Time effect on the music. Okay. Um, can't build this because I don't have the fucking rocks for it. I don't, have, I don't have the stones for it. Wait, do I- will I- now? Hmm. Are you glitched, little one? You tend the farms, you, you don't do this. This 
followers sick. I woke you. Sorry, I woke you up. Lots of food. I think I can give you a gift. Follow will, will never sleep. Have fun never sleeping. for the thing there. Can't wait to unlock fucking toilets or an outhouse or something. Why would it take so long to chop down this little twig? Ah. They're like not even working. Um What what is what is your purpose? You collect the stone. Actually, you were worshipping, weren't you? <laughs> After a certain point, does this just become poop clean simulator? station, cheaper rituals, confession booth, outhouse. So that that's gonna be, you know, this tech tree. Let us pray. Excuse me. Vampiric weapons have a chance to heal the wielder. Curses will appear. Oh, I'll see that. Then I'll get empiric later, but new curses would be nice to play around with. Uh, when killed in a crusade run for the first time, sacrifice a follower to be resurrected. Once a day, eat a meal to receive a blue heart. Focus while on a crusade to instantly return to base. Receive a diseased heart at the beginning of each crusade run.
eat a meal for Blue Heart, sure. All cult members will gain a faithful track, generate devotion 15% faster, or increase their work speed by 15%. I think work speed at the moment. I'm gonna need them in the mines real soon. bonfire is on cooldown. I'm not going to sacrifice. Shelter is five wood, two stone, and ten kern. I wonder if this decoration does anything. just for fun. Why are you staring at the poop? Very addictive gameplay loop, hard to put down. It's one of those. Are you better yet? No, I guess not. My brother and I were traveling together through dark wood. We're separated. I never knew what became of him. Do you think you could find him? I'll try. What will happen first? Will he recover, or will I mine this rock? And... Answered. get some wood, then we have, like, a supply of rock and stone. Uh, that's... wrong game. Wood and rock. I guess that's growing into a tree. Like it didn't quite make it, but it was uh, going to eventually become a tree. I need just three more wood. bit, little bit of blessing. You've done well, my children. Well done. Oh look, a comet is flying overhead. That's weird.
Well, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get wood for a little while, so let me see what's going on with the, um... This area. The fishing. Pilgrim's Passage. Oh, there's a tree. Super helpful. Look what we found here. I uh, think I'm gonna fish for you. Oh, guess not. Huh. Not so bad. Listen, perhaps we could help one another. I happen to have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things that a fish like, uh, I mean, a fisherman like me has no use for. <laughs> but, the, you know, to you, well, you look like you like valuable things. Some of the hardest catch beasts I've ever, uh, that have ever lived below the... Catch me a crab, lobster, octopus, and a squid. Enemies have a chance to drop a fish. Hark! Hark, Triton! Hark! That was a lobster? Wood? I guess that's one way to get wood if you run out of it. Oh. A, a, a fish form for the animals. I have a theory that games with fishing minigames are usually good games. Note, I said usually. And not all the time. That's going to be a to-be-continued activity, I think. Man, what a- what an addictive game this is. There, there's so much more, like, stuff in it than I expected. Apologies, just the lighthouse is getting dimmer no matter how hard we worship. Ships keep sinking. No ships mean no new pilgrims to walk the sacred path. If only our leader was here, she would know what to do. We've not seen her since she went for a walk on the pier late one night. Oh my god, that voice. Very good voice. All hail the mighty light. So fix the lighthouse. That's a quest. It really is Hark Triton. Tasty fish meal. Pungent fish stew. Something. It's food, I think. Did 
there will be shit. Well, you did it. Truly, you are without flaw. There you go. Welcome to the next level, friend. I, I could keep going without even adventuring. There's just, again, so many little things to do. I need 25 wood for this, though. I wonder how effective that actually was. Like, the quarry. Pretty effective. Yeah, I gotta start replacing those beds with shelters soon. We're doing another sermon. Two vampiric weapons. Next thing. Next thing unlocked. Unlocks the murder follower action. A simple solution to so many problems, but some followers may find this upsetting. Form ritual, which you can ascend the follower's spirit to a higher plane of existence. All followers gain loyalty. Murder or ascend? Hmm. Oh, Turtle Club. Here's a little blessing. There you go, Turtle Club. And that is Cult of the Lamb. I really like this game. It's going to be a little bit of a wait for me to play the full thing, but it is very good. Even this version, I mean, it's, it's only a couple weeks from launch, but it's, it's very good. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, see you soon with part two of Cult of the Lamb, which will include more of that and um, the dungeon, the next one. And that'll probably be recorded in a couple days, which you will then see in a couple days from when you're watching this one, which will probably be about two weeks from when this is being recorded. So that is, uh, what is time? It doesn't matter. You'll see it. It'll be fun. And then when the full thing comes out, I'll just stream. I'll stream it because there's Twitch drops. Epic Twitch drops. Thank you.